That is the opening bell on Wall Street today. The stocks kicked off lower this morning as markets across the board remain under pressure. Just yesterday, the chair of the Federal Reserve warned of lasting consequences if lawmakers do not do more to protect the economy. But for the most part, the market has been rallying despite the, all the jobless claims recently. But how can that be? Anchor Ashley Rowe turns to the experts and a beloved children's game to explain. Imagine this tower is corporate America. Big banks, the stock market, businesses your 401k is probably invested in. In March, this tower took a major hit. The federal government could not let this tower crumble. So the Federal Reserve has been taking unprecedented measures to get new blocks to put back into the tower to prevent it from crumbling. And they're finding bold ways to make sure this well of blocks never runs dry, buying up corporate bonds, bond ETFs, slashing interest rates, essentially printing cash so that they always have blocks on hand. We look at just the volume of bonds that they're buying and what happened in 2008, you know, which was a very terrible time. This was like double, triple what they did back then. Meantime, there's this other tower. Think of it as the rest of the economy. You, me, small businesses, and millions of unemployed people across the country. When the pandemic hit, this tower got hit in all directions. Job losses, furloughs, decimated industries. The CARES Act was able to put some blocks back into the tower, but because the $2 trillion stimulus package and subsequent stimulus efforts are conditional and selective, the limited blocks available help prop up some parts of the tower, but expose others. A $1,200 stimulus check runs out quickly, and those small business loans won't save a mom and pop shop if no one wants to leave their homes. So until we feel safe, it's going to be difficult for us to open the wallets and go back to spending if we ever go back to spending the way we did in 2019. What's more, these blocks being put in to keep the tower upright are not permanent additions to the tower. They're bound by the terms and conditions set forth by Congress. So eventually, these blocks will be removed. And there's no guarantee there will be other blocks there to replace them. Understand, this was an extremely blunt tool that the government used. This was that fine-tuned, and they sort of were making it up on the fly. Congress is now considering a fourth round of stimulus to try to fill some of these gaps in the tower, like funding for municipalities. And you can bet communities all over the country, including Erie County, which is facing a $200 million shortfall, will be counting on Congress to try to find new tools in the toolkit to make sure this tower doesn't crumble.